we are on to level two of the power tower in the Coromon demo. Level two is much like level one, but a little bit more complex. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Where do we want to go? Let's see. Let's again find out. First of all, what door do we want to go into? I would like to go over that way because I see a little gold chest. And when I see a little gold chest, I want to get it because the gold chest have more things in it than a normal chest. So what do I need? I need either the square door to open or the vertical door to open. So let's see if we can find either one of those. Well, right here's the square one hat right beside me. Let's flip that one on. So that will open this up. Then we've got a horizontal switch here and a vertical switch over there. And the vertical switch is actually the one I want to have switched. So let's flip that back over. So we come down here. And if we flip that one, that allows us to get, okay, this is what we're going to have to do, I think is how are we going to do this let's i don't know <laughs> this is the tricky one i've always kind of ran into this is there something the horizontal one do we have a horizontal switch down here we do okay so we need to let's flip this one back and then we need to this is what we need to do go into here flip this and then go back up here and flip this one again allows us to go into this one down into this one which will allow us to flip the horizontal one did i flip it twice accidentally and that one must be closed now the vertical one okay so we need the this one the bottom left corner door to be open so let's go flip that switch which is hold on we want we want this door to be open because hold on i'm trying to figure this out that oh that's a horizontal switch and not a vertical switch haha <laughs> okay so we do want that door over to the left open that's what that's what gets you a lot of the times you're not looking at the right one this is a horizontal switch and i'm trying to activate the vertical door here we want to i'm really trying hard to figure this out i want to flip this one to go down here this is definitely the one of the trickier ones because we need to flip this switch and this is what it's all about you go and find out what you need to switch and then you got to work backwards but now I need to go over there to flip. Can I open this one again? Flip this switch back down so that door's open. Come up here, flip that switch. I know we're going back and flipping a lot of switches several times, but you've just got to keep on working at it and trying to find the order in which you need to do it. The Okay, then we go through this door, flip that switch to let us access this switch. That will open that. Then we have to go and flip that switch again, again, which gets us down to here. Yay, there we go. And finally, our first <laughs> trainer battle here. My colleagues locked me in here as a prank. How do I get out? I don't know. I barely got in here. <laughs> so let's fight Thisha. Thisha? and see how well she is. She brought a, a patter bit, level 16. My guild wing should be able to do okay against him. I'm not sure, that's a pretty decent hit there. Use feelers, that is not good. The feelers is not good because that allows him to get an increased chance of a critical in the next attack. So we really don't like that, but I feel that we are doing well above what we need to do here. Let's see if we can knock him out with this one. If not, it's going to be pretty close. He used slam again. I'm going to go ahead 
and use fast strike which is going to force me to go first and that will allow him to get knocked out now we're going to have to switch out the guild wing here but he got a lot of experience there which is really good and then he is sending out a Mubi, which is an interesting one there are a few Cormon in the game that they do not allow you have access to well i should say in the demo that you do not have access to and Mubi is one of the interesting there's several that i that you don't quite get access to it in the demo but i would really like to see i would like to be able to play movie and some of these other ones oddity is another one that i think would be really cool to play it just there's a lot of them in here that i'm really excited to figure out to try and to explore when the time comes and the full game gets released we're right here level to level here not really where i want to be i would love to be a little bit higher but very rarely do the trainers have Cormon equal to the number of Cormon that you have. They very rarely have six. So most often, even when they're leveled, you can get ahead because you just have more Cormon. There we go. Our Taruga is finally evolving into a Imbava. Imbavo? I guess is how you pronounce that. There we go. I like that because he's kind of a little bit of a volcano looking thing there which is really nice i really would like to see at least i can leave the room now yep i would really like to see more of their abilities at some point but that will be down the line we got four hp cakes two sp cakes and a couple of phoenix shards too so that's really nice as well and now we've get to move our people around so that we can get these level 17s up to a level 18 now i'm not sure how well this is going to go like i said i believe in the last episode we might have to go back into the thunderous cave in order to grind up a little bit if this is not working out for us so we're going to go down here but this switch we do not have to be down in this corner that was just to battle that trainer and to get that chest there. Oh, I can't walk through a closed door now, can I? <laughs> so that was to get down in here. The, the only thing that was down here is that trainer and that chest. So we really don't have to go down here if we don't want to. But we need the horizontal switch open. So let's see if we can find. There's the. Okay, so we need to go back through here. Again, we need to work our way backwards, find out where we need to go and what switch we need, and then we need to work our way back and find out, find that switch and flip it. So we need the horizontal switch flipped so that this door should be opened. It is, so let's run back through here. This is a little funny one because you have to switch this one switch, that square switch we've got to switch several times just because of the placement of those two doors and i kind of like that versus having the doors very far apart because it gets a little bit more confusing as the doors get further apart so these we can go into i do like the arrows to show that you could just these are open doors and you could just go in and out of them that's pretty cool little nice little ad added thing there to make it a little bit easier so that you know that the that door is not a door that needs a switch flipped okay we got a hound dose probably a high level hound dose because she only had one i'm not sure if bezel if a bezel is strong or weak against poison although that did a whole lot of damage to him that was nice the volt lick i think slows me down decreases my speed yep so actually i'm just gonna slam him here because you want to try to conserve your sp as much as possible as you go on into battle if you really don't need to use that double sting or whatever that high level ability use a lower ability because you're gonna you don't think it's much sometimes but that 2 SP or 3 SP can really make 
a huge difference down the line. My colleague is lost and I lost. Ah. Wonder if her colleague is the guy that got locked down in that room down there. That would be kind of funny. A Juba fruit. Okay, let's see where we need to go. We got another trainer scientist here with a chest. I don't think we can get by him. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. There's like three. See, let me analysis anal analyze. Let me analyze your battle techniques. See, a lot of the scientists are like more trying to figure out than actually wanting to battle hard. Okay, let's see what we could do with the double sting here and hopefully it does good against the fiddly. The trainers will come to you if they're within a certain number of squares and what I was trying to see there before this fight, if I can get down far enough below the trainer, I might be able to get around to that treasure chest, but they made sure I believe that you could not do that, that you were within that sight radius, so to speak, of the trainer. So we got through fiddly pretty easy. Beazle is holding his own rather well, and he is up to level 18. So I am going to Bazer. I don't remember the Bazer. Ooh, I believe he's, well, he's obviously an electric type. So we're going to flip out the Digmaw. I believe that is the evolution of the the other one that looks like a beetle. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but there's a little, a buzzlet or something. I think it's a buzzlet is the name of it. I think that the Bazer is an evolution of the buzzlet. So let's get in here and do a boulder barrage to take this guy out. It should do devastating damage, very effective. Toughen up. That's fine with me. I'm super happy about that. I'm not sure we, I wonder if the scratch is gonna be enough. Let's see, I figure it's going to be enough. Level, yeah, it, it was able to do 16. That is good. We were able to save a little bit of SP there and got all kinds of experience there. He is not quite level 18 yet. So we're gonna have to use him again. It looks like I am gonna switch him out so that he is in front and then my Lamprey still needs a little bit and my patter pitter bite needs a little bit as well. We're gonna have to switch him up, but then we're gonna have to go and get healed up. But it looks like we're gonna be, oh, another Phoenix Shard. That's gonna be very useful. The Phoenix Shards, you would think in, I think it's in Hard and Nightmare, you can not revive your Cormon. So Phoenix Shards are not useful, but they are useful because you are you where was i going with oh you could sell them that's what i was gonna say you could sell them now we need to get that's kind of what i was looking around i need that dot i need to get around to that dot which means i need the upper right square to be flipped and i don't know where that is but right now i need to be into this one so let's open that one up i don't think there was anything really up here was there Let's go back up in there and check. I think there's a couple switches that we're gonna have to play with here in a minute. Yeah, there's a whole little down section of this. So here's another set that's confusing. The ones that are angled to the right and the ones that are angled to the left. I need to go down there. So I need to find the one that's angled to the left and turn it on. Let's see if we can find the one and flip it. This one is the one we need to flip. And I wonder if we can go over here and go ahead and flip that one. That might cause us trouble, but maybe not. That allows us to get through here, which is useful. It might also close off another one. I think we'll have to come back up through there because it's gonna close off this one down here at the bottom left of your screen. You'll see that one is closed and we'll have to deal with that here in a just a minute. Let's get this guy rocking and rolling and see 
I just started working here for Lux Solus and I'm already lost again. I need some distraction. Okay, Gerald. Oh, Gerald has four. That's not good. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. Okay, let's see what we could do with these guys. Oh, he's a level 14. That again proves that the more they have, the lower their experience or not experience their level is. So they have four. They're level 14 now, and we just knocked him out like nothing else. That might get my Digma up to level 18. Nope, it did not. So let's do that really quick. Oh, just barely level 18. I'm going to switch out to, you know what? I'm not going to switch out right now because I'm worried about, we're going to do another Boulder Barrage. I'm a little worried about how much we are going to be able to do here. I don't want to switch too early and then be in a situation in which we have to switch back and you just, they get an extra hit in and that's just going to be a little bit difficult. A shim shell looks like a water type. Let's see who I have. My lamprey. I'm not sure which way this one goes. Let's try it out. We got a few phoenix shards. If we need it, we will see here just in a minute he is going to feign spurts let's see if that is super effective it did not it was not very effective so it is going to go the correct way for me electric is over water i can never remember which is which in that which is i know water and electric have a matchup but i can never remember which one is the strong one when we come to play this but that worked out well the slither pin is however is going to be a little bit of an annoyance let's see it's level 15 if we get a bit of damage on that really quickly we should be able to help the constrict is going to hurt us i am prevented from switching out my squad members now for a certain amount of terms certain amount of turns i do not know how many right away but we were able to knock him out pretty easily so i'm happy about that to say the least and i lost again wow yeah gerald you need to up your guys a little bit there okay yeah there's a whole section down here i forgot about what do we need that's down here is there another trainer oh there's this so we need to flip this that's going to open up that door up there i believe is what it did combi cakes are nice but it closed this one let's see if we oh you know what we there was some weird way to do this i'm gonna have to try to figure this out again if we flip that switch flip this switch we can come in and we're gonna have to then flip that one again to open it up and then we're gonna have to run all the way back we're gonna have to do i'm trying to figure out the way to get this to work because we have to go all the way back up here because we need that switched or that angle to the right one open so we need that one over there let's flip that switch we'll be opening this one but we're also going to have to flip the switch down here so that we have a way back out. So this one is going to have to be flipped so that we can open that one. Nope, that one's already open. That one down there. So the way out is working. I just got to find the way to get that. Now the the angled right needs to be or angled left also needs to be flipped it looks like now how are we going to do this to have both of those flipped i know i do need that one closed I'm trying to figure out which way i need this to go this one seems to need to be flipped as well let's i need this one this way i believe let's go check that out and see if that works for us so that door is nope that door is closed but i need okay 
what we need to do is have this one up and this one down but then how do i get out hold on flip that this one is going to have to be flipped first we flip this one then we go out this door that's another trick that they do is that you have to do it in the right order in order to have an exit out that's a tricky thing as well that they do on some of these puzzles if i could just find my way out there we go we got that one we can go down here that door however is closed so if we flip okay this is what we're gonna have to go down and flip this switch to open that i think we're gonna have to go through that door flip this switch we need this switch there we go that's what we need to do flip that and we are out of level two of the power tower there we go and all the way up now that what you're here you have access to this switch and then you just come in and out from this way and it fixes it makes it a lot easier and you can run back fairly easy to the elevator if you need to and we are going to we're going to go ahead and fill up let's switch him over here we're going to go back and heal up and we are done with level two that worked out really nicely we're going to try to keep on doing this level an episode at least till as far as i can some of the later levels get a little bit more tricky and might need two episodes to go through to completely figure them out but we are making our way through the power tower and i'm very excited about it. we're gonna finish up the demo here probably in the next three or four episodes it will just depend on how it all works out for us and how quickly we can get through some of those levels but i'm always I always have a great time playing this game it's been the demo and i've already played through it like four times and it's just such a blast to do it every time i do it and there is so much that i'm not really even touching on when i go through this one of the things that i am not touching on is the fruit if you give the fruit to certain one of your hormon they will automatically okay so the cakes you have to be fed fed to them so if let's say he, your cormon has poison then you give him a detox cake to remove the poison now what's nice about the fruit is you can give the fruit to your cormon cormon beforehand so this thick fruit you will give it to your cormon and as soon as he gets poisoned it'll immediately go away which is very useful and they have one for to regain focus i mean all these status effects they can go away with and some of them like Ju juba fruit restores 50 percent of health which is really nice right off the bat extra xp it's also very good things that you could throw in there to help a guy like Petterbit pitterbite that might be a little bit behind you can give him that bear fruit and he gets like double xp when he gets that x first xp hit after a battle now if he goes in several times or in a battle and defeats several of the cormon he doesn't continue it's that first time he gets that xp it'll be i'm not sure if it's completely doubled but he gets extra xp in that time but that's going to be our episode for today thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.